Hey, look who's here, folks. It's. Yeah. Move it up a little. There we go. Okay. There we go. It's funny, man. Gilbert. Now, now a diet soda, and if you have a, a diet soda? I iced have, coffee. I have. Uh, yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, I have and some in the actual freeze refrigerator. Any zero. any coffee around here? Or is it no too, too much? And I'm a. Well, you know, there in, in Coke Zero, there is probably more than enough caffeine oh, to take okay. care of you. Hello, Mr. Uh, Gottfried. How are you? Uh, hi. Well, that's it. Well, welcome, welcome yeah. to my humble. This is what this it's is. Be, this is what it's become. Yeah, this is. You this know, is I called. It. I called you. You called me the other night at like eleven o'clock at night. Yeah. I said, "Who the hell's calling me at eleven o'clock at night?" Hell, yeah. It, it would only yeah. be, it, of course. Who the hell? Yeah, is yeah. Calling and you said to me, I, you said, "What happened to you over at the other place?" Yeah, they they basically pulled an Aflac on you. And that's you. what you said. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They they pulled an Aflac on yeah, you. Yeah. I uh, just uh, thought, oh, this is a good reason to get rid of this guy. Well, just <laughs> fine. We want to get rid of him. Yeah. Let's throw him out. Right. Well, you know, I'm. Um, uh, well, they didn't exactly. I don't know if you want to drink No. <laughs> uh, you, you, that Monster Zero was given to us free by the Seven Eleven people when we were over there the other day. Yeah. So how you doing? Yes. You were out of town for a couple of days. Uh, yes, I was out of town, and I'll be I'll be working you, in. Um, you'll have to look up um, up up here. Look up my website. No, I'm not. <laughs> no. But your Anyways, website is what GilbertGodfrey.com. Yes, GilbertGodfrey.com. I think I'm working in. Uh, um, Albert, look it up for him, yeah. will you? Yeah, write down the next couple of jobs I'm working at. Because <laughs> I should write them down, but I didn't. So, okay, we'll just stay here for a while. <laughs> we'll just wait. look at me. Don't is look this, at you. Is this what the... the yeah. Uh, do we actually have something behind us? This Hopefully... Well, we can put anything you want behind yeah, us. Yeah, okay. Can we put something behind us? Would you like something yes, behind us? Albert, yes. put something what, behind what choices him. choices do we There we well, go. Oh, see, there's my there's the great seal of oh, Alex. Oh, okay. That's see? one thing, but that, that doesn't... Oh, there we got Bar Barack Obama. But everything, it, it will have to move the stage over. Uh, uh, show them how hot it oh, is today. Oh, that's good. Good. That, That'll make you feel real that's great. That's a good one. I like, I like that one. <laughs> so anyway... Oh, that one's even Look better. at me. <laughs> Look yes, at me. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait yes, a minute. Wait sir. a minute. Put up that other picture, okay. Albert, the other one. Mm. When was that taken? Uh, that's when I played Link on the Mod Squad. <laughs> <laughs> really? I mean, that is pretty gruesome. That I, I was actually one of the Jackson 5. People forget that. I mean, was, was, was that in your... Was that... That was during those Saturday Night Live days. Was that Saturday Night Live? Saturday Night Live. You yeah, didn't forget you were one of the not ready for primetime players. Uh, yes, and I definitely was. How wasn't. many weeks was that? Yes. Uh, that was, uh, it was one season. Yeah. Now, when you got that job, did you say to yourself, man, I've Su made it? Surprisingly not. I think maybe I had some instinct then that they said, you have Saturday Night Live. And I said, oh, okay. And it was a very weird thing. Yeah. I never felt excited about it. And when I lost it, I didn't feel terrible about it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and, and uh, but then how, then what did you do after that? I mean, was that the end of the career for a while? Um, As someone that, who's facing the end of my career, I yes, just want to yes. get hints <laughs> on how you handle that. Yeah, and you know the hardest thing for yes, me is yes. to be a has been and never have been a, a, a was. Yes, I've always said that about <laughs> you. But you know, in all fairness to you, at one time you were known through America as the White Leon Lewis. Really? Yeah. See, no, yes. nobody knows what we're talking about out there. They have no idea what we're talking about. Leon Lewis was a guy who used to go on uh, after me. 
Or no, no, I was on. I, I was on. Days. I was on four nights a week. He was on three nights a week yes. in the slot. Why they did that? Yeah, I had no idea, but it was wonderful because they were paying me at the time a lot of money, which was twenty-seven thousand five a year, which back then was a lot of money. Yeah, and I only had to work four days a week, so I had like three days off. It was wonderful. And Leon Lewis did the other two with. Uh, he had this like cancerous cough. Oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. So how come how come you um, how come you brought up Leon Lewis? Ah, uh, cause I remember you used to uh, you used to be on some night. He was on the other night. Yeah. And, and it, it was a, a doubly great job, cause it was on at like three in the morning. So, so when you finally met so you, me, yes, were you in awe of me that you had met Alex Bennett? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that was very exciting. Now, <laughs> you have a character you play. Yes. Well, yes. I, and I, yes. And Willie gotta, Loman. Uh, yeah, I've yes. got to tell people that it's not all character yeah. that you play. Now, my, my question is, you, you created a persona, right? Everybody should. Yes. Right? But at what point did the persona start taking over? I, uh, that, that's a very weird thing. It really But has. it does happen, it, doesn't yes, it? Yes, yes. I mean, I knew a guy, uh, Kevin Pollack. You know Kevin. Yes. Kevin used to play kind of this role of when he would walk into a room, he would say to people, oh, everybody sit down. You know, he played the... Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. But after a while, he became that. Now, I saw a very odd clip once with Chico Marx. Yeah. And he was he was by himself, like when the Marx Brothers yeah. had split up. Yeah. And um, Chick, he was old, but he still had on the outfit with the pointed hat and mm -hmm. the jacket, his Chico outfit. And he had on... By the way, it is Chico. You are absolutely right. Yes. It was not Chico. Yeah. It was Chico. Chico. See? Right. And his, he was talking. He was being interviewed. And he sounded like only half Chico and half not. And I wasn't sure if it was that he was trying to do Chico, but by then he was so bored, or he was trying to talk as himself, and yeah. he's been doing Chico for so long yeah. that it was part of his personality. It was a very weird thing. It wasn't a full-out, hey, boss, ha, huh? that's yeah. a fun, some funny joke, eh, boss? Yeah. Now here he was like, uh, well, uh, when uh, Groucho and uh, Chico and I yeah, it's kind of that halfway together. between. Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. very peculiar. Well, the uh, the do you know they used to go on well, they, when they were on Broadway? Yeah, they used to some nights go on and play each other. They would, I, uh, and they could do it if you look at uh, what oh uh, Duck Soup Duck Soup where he uh, they do the mirror thing, and um, uh, Har uh, Harpo is playing Groucho. Yeah, and then yeah. Chico was also Groucho in that. Right. They were both. And uh, I remember, uh, well, what was Groucho's daughter, uh, Maxine? Maxine? Yeah, I think that was. I'm just looking oh, at do, do what? You, Yeah. Uh, uh, his daughter, I, I met like two, three times. Yeah. And she said when she was a little girl, this is being a little girl in case, you know, we're talking to yeah. like deaf people in the audience. This is a little girl. Okay. Yeah. And <laughs> this is a little boy, but no. Anyway, that they were like working at some theater and I guess they were doing a show during the day mm -hmm. and that she was like, she was a little girl, so she wanted to go out and play. So she was outside the theater playing. Uh -huh. And then afterwards, her father came over and he said, did you see that? Did you catch what we did? And she goes, no. And she goes, and Chico says, I was Harpo and Harpo was me. And she missed it. She didn't even get it. Yeah, no, she was outside. Yeah. She missed the whole, yeah. Oh, oh, I see. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. Uh, when you watch, uh, uh, you, you got to be affected by people. You know, there isn't a comedian going who hasn't yeah. been influenced by somebody. And I've never been able to figure out your yeah. influence. Yes. I mean, there, there's nobody I can peg that you're doing. Yes. 
Well, it's not. Or are you just heart. some dysfunctional human being yes, who I'm found a, dis- a way to make a living? <laughs> it. Uh, there's a lot of people I like growing up. I don't know which ones really influenced me. I mean, who made you laugh? Who did you watch when you Everybody. were a kid? Everybody. God, there were so many people back then. Well, the old guys were still alive back then. Like, they were still, you know, Groucho was still alive. And the Marx Brothers movies were coming back. And there was Jack Benny and all those Like, people. I was influenced Jerry by Lewis. Benny. I was influenced oh, by yeah, Benny. Oh, yeah, Benny. Benny was great, yeah. yeah. And Jerry Lewis and all those people. Yeah. Because I, I, I figured your influences were like Richard Pryor. Uh, I see a lot of Richard Pryor in <laughs> <laughs> I saw, <clears throat> and I just met him again recently, Screech from Saved by the Bell. Really? Yes. Who's doing stand-up now. And porn. Yes, and porn. <laughs> and and he, I saw an interview he did where Screech from Saved by the Bell said, uh, people who see a stand-up compare him a lot to Richard Pryor. <laughs> <laughs> Did he really say that? Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. And I guess, you know, Urkel is compared to Lenny Bruce. But <laughs> <laughs> well, if you think about it, I mean, I, I have to give credit to who's the guy who did Urkel? I'm trying to remember his name now. Jaheel White. Jaleel White. Jaleel White. I gotta give him credit. Yeah. He really created a character there. Oh, yes. You know. And and what happened with all those kids in series who are the nerds, yeah. they were like the two nerds, the yeah. two biggest, Urkel and Screech. And they hit that point where it's like, they start talking like that. <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> <laughs> like... He, he, Urkel's there going, did I do that? <laughs> and it was like, their voice cracks yeah. at, at some point. And they're like seven, both of them turned to like seven feet tall. Right. Both, and it got really, it was like these two mentally unbalanced men. I just felt that the whole Urkel thing was, was pretty well devised. Oh, yeah. You know? Yeah, no, he did a very good job. And I, and I ran. Screech into, less so. Yeah. <laughs> Saved by the Bell, always less so. Yes. <laughs> I mean, all it gave us was a naked woman running around in showgirls. That was about uh, oh, it. Oh, yes. Yeah. So um, um, what is with you and birds? It's just every time they hire yes. you to do something. It's or like fire I, me. I see you yeah. on PBS, you're a bird. Yes. Oh, yes, I'm on Cyber Chase. Yeah, but I mean, what what is with you and birds? It was the Affleck duck. It was yeah. you and the Disney thing. Yeah, I was the parrot in Aladdin. You've gotten a lot of work yeah, playing I was birds. Playing birds. Now but, is it because they say that voice sounds like a bird? Well, in in all fairness to my, or do you have like some people who got and kill anybody who tries yeah, to do yeah. a bird <laughs> to you? In fairness to my talent, yeah, I was on a Family Guy episode as a horse. Yes. And I was in a commercial. But it was a horse who sounded like, like Gilbert a, Gottfried. Yes, exactly. They even, <laughs> the character even says, hey, Gilbert Gottfried. <laughs> when he sees and, and, and I was an ant in an insecticide commercial. Really? Many years ago. I mean, did the ant say something? Uh, yeah, I, I, I forget what he said. Because in it all deference so many... to you, and I'm really glad you got the Aflac thing, because that, that was money in the bank, yeah, right? Well, yeah. it was money oh, in yes. the bank. <laughs> Till they pulled uh, an Alex Bennett on me. <laughs> You just let him laugh for a while. Yes. You just let him laugh for a while. Yes. <clears throat> anyway, um, um, but I, and, and all deference to you. Yes. Because I think you're Bow one of the most talented, yes. funny people I know. Yes. All right? Yes. Otherwise, that's why you're here. Yes. That, <laughs> that and the fact nobody else would come yeah, up. Yeah, it know. was it was pretty much yeah. me or a junkie sleeping in the doorway. But that Affleck job had to be pretty easy. 
Uh, it was weird. It's because, like, you know, you go in, you do an Aladdin, they say, well, the, the character says this, and he says no, that. With, you only said Aflac all the time. Surprisingly, a lot of people ask me, did you record it once? And, no, and you I told was, me this story. Yeah, yeah, no, they, they would, each new commercial, they call me in. Was this a power thing? I think so. They had so many of you, you saying Aflac, oh. they could have just said, don't bother coming in, we're just used to Yes, so they used to have me come in every day, and I'd be there for a few hours, and can you say it this way, and this way, and this way? And then it would sound exactly like every other commercial. I've actually gone in to do stuff like that, and I do the first take, and they go, eh, it's not quite right. Yeah. And then they go through about 40 other takes. Try it this way. Try it that way. When they finally get the one they want, it's like the one I originally did. Oh, yes. It, it, it's so weird. And it's like, like one time I did a voiceover for it was some corporate thing. So they, yeah. they, they it, it wasn't a professional operation as far as voiceovers go. Yeah. So I did it. I went in the studio, recorded it once. They said, thank you. And it's like, had it been a voiceover thing right. that where they knew about it, they would have done it 150 times. But here they said, thank you, and it worked perfectly well. Yeah. It, and there was nothing to be improved upon by doing it those other times. Yeah. Wow. You know, we've gone, uh, what, about 20 minutes here, and not yeah. once have you said Alex Bennett's still alive. So I'm... Alex Bennett is... I think so. Alive. I'm looking at him up close. I'm not sure about it right now. <laughs> I, yeah, seeing you up close in a well lit room. Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not sure. Still, I've actually, I thought you were still alive. I don't know where that started. Yes. But all I know is that I'm walking down the street one day <laughs> here in New York City. <laughs> and all of a sudden, across the street, I hear Alex Bennett is still alive. <laughs> We known each other a long time. Yes, yes. When I thought about it, mid '80s, I think, when we first. I, I. I mean, I remember seeing you at the comic strip before that. Oh yeah. But actually, when we got to know each other was well, San Francisco. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That I think that was the first time we met. You had a show in San Francisco, mm -hmm. which, which I think they affliced you from. No, they didn't no, affliced no, me. From you that. left it. No, they. Well, they no, they affliced me. Yeah, they affliced you. Is that what it's known uh, uh, as in show business yes, now? You've been yes, aflac Yes. I had heard it was called You've Been Gilbert. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, you know. By the way, I, I went in looking for photographs like the one I, I showed earlier. I found a lot of pictures of you posing with a duck. Oh, geez, yes. Now, did they give you a real duck or was that a stuffed duck? Uh, that was a real one. Really? Yeah, yeah, they gave me a real one. You Although mean, they did have some stuffed ducks. Yeah, but they, I mean, made, they turned me into a stuffed duck, but... <laughs> also, I mean, not that I wanted, you know, it, it meant a lot of money to you, and I'm happy about that, but the question is, what the hell does a duck have to do with insurance? Nothing. <laughs> Absolutely. You know, you know what I heard about that, yeah. that whole thing? And again, I'm so delighted that it made you a fortune. Yes. Okay. But that they had they the the whole campaign never worked for them because people don't know what Affleck is they think it's just regular insurance oh yes you know and it's not it is uh, what if you're out of work insurance is that yeah, it? I should have had that yeah it, <laughs> it it's one of those like uh, it, it's funny it's like one of those commercials that I guess like you go uh, oh hey that commercial with the girl and and the guy uh, chases her down the block, that one. Yeah. And she, I really like that commercial, and no one knows what it is. And nobody knows yeah, what the yeah. product is. But the other thing that was terrible about, about Aflac is they could never, nobody, they knew it was insurance. That yeah. they knew, but they didn't realize it was like, what, if you're out of work, you get yeah, paid or some something? Yeah, some strange insurance. Yeah, and they yeah. were never able to get that across. Yeah. Now they've, I guess on the commercials, mutilated the duck or something, and oh, he's oh, recovering. Yeah. And he's getting paid for it, but still, it doesn't yeah, come across. Yeah, yeah, It's still... maybe, maybe, in all due fairness to yeah. you, the worst advertising campaign I've ever seen. Oh in my yeah, life. <laughs> it might be. You know that 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 is only surpassed by the Cialis commercials, where I to this oh, day can't God. figure out what the two bathtubs are for. 
Oh, God. And then there were, well, as all the female products where... Well, I understand what they're for. Yeah, but I, I never understood the... You put the them up your hoo-ha. Yeah. <laughs> who, was, who was the least known Marx Brothers? Hoo-ha. Hoo-ha. <laughs> it was Groucho, Chico, Harpo, and Hoo-ha, who was never really <laughs> that successful. And, but like the female uh, products, yeah. it was always like you'd watch those commercials and you go, there's people uh, like you'd see a woman walking on the beach or a woman and her daughter uh, getting ready to go out and you go, well, what, what are they talking about exactly? Because they couldn't, there's only so far they could go, and they go, oh, sometimes I feel younger and more energetic. And it's like, what? This? <laughs> and, and we can go swimming today. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't understand it either. But then the woman's body mystifies me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know it has mystified I, you. I've proven that many times. But you have so. two kids. Yes. That means you had sex at least twice in your uh, life. Yes. <laughs> and even that to most of us is scary. Yes. <laughs> now, you didn't get to be a father till you were like, what? A hundred. A hundred. Um, yeah. Well, you've always been a hundred. You, you yes. were an old man when you were yes. where that picture yes. was. Yes. I was, I was uh, I, if I had to talk about my greatest influences, it would be Louis the candy store owner <laughs> in the Bowery Boys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think so. It eventually but, always but, goes to that. But you, the were, Bowery you, you Boys. were, what, almost 50 before you I, first I kid. was old. I was an old man. Is, but, but, but has that changed your life? Because I never hear you ever do the daddy thing. No, I no. never get from you, like, well, the kid did the funniest thing oh, today. Oh, yeah. Or I hate when they start doing bringing it into their act and it becomes overly cutesy and they start yeah. putting on a high-pitched voice to talk like a kid. And yeah, and yeah, and they brag about the kid, and I hate that when they yeah, do that. Yeah, it's horrible. But, but uh, uh, you know, you ne I never hear, but I hear from your, your lovely wife, who, by the way, I don't know what she saw in you. Yeah. <laughs> uh, because she's one of the most lovely, darling people in the whole world. Well, that's because you're not living with her, but that's a whole <laughs> other story. But anyway, the, the point was that she says you are just a great father. Yes. Because I, you're just like the kids. Yeah. I'm, I'm like, I'm uh, actually, although sometimes I don't like being Crosby. <laughs> oh really? You beat the crap out of him, do you? Yeah, Bing Crosby. Yeah, he beat the crap out of all his kids. And what do you call one of them? Bubble butt. Oh yes. <laughs> bu 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 bubble butt. You know, I wonder if anybody knows who we're talking about yes. when we when we say when we whenever, say Bing Crosby. Whenever you know. I come on any of your shows, it always eventually goes into those references. Yeah. And yeah, so Bing Crosby, he he was uh, uh, like this legendary singer. He smoked a pipe, always looked calm and friendly. And yeah. Everyone said, "Oh, it's our pal Bing on TV," and he would do these Christmas specials yeah. where he'd be by the fireplace singing. And so he he seemed like the greatest guy in the world. And he would beat, beat the his, crap yeah, out of his yeah. kids. Yeah. In fact. Here's, here's something, an actual quote from Buddy Hackett. Another one. Everybody's jumping <laughs> up. Buddy Hackett, oh, Now, Buddy yes. Hackett, one of the funniest comics ever. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, I, uh, Buddy Hackett once said, You want to know why Bing Crosby beat his kids? Because Bing Crosby couldn't get a high on. <laughs> That's something people don't know about you. You do impressions. Yes, I'm. I'm one of the few who does. <laughs> Every, all the young people come to see me do my Buddy Hackett, <laughs> and my favorite Buddy Hackett. Yeah. Remember that movie Bud and Lou? The yeah. TV movie about Abbott and Costello. Was he starring in it? Uh, yeah, <clears throat> it was Buddy Hackett. Well, he obviously didn't play Bud. <laughs> By the way, yeah. Abbott and Costello, does anybody know who we're, we're talking about here? You could hear people in the street screaming, traffic stopping. No. Right. <laughs> yes. But. Mm -hmm. 
lost my pencil. I bet you, well, a lot happens at your age. <laughs> Here he goes again, folks. So, so there was that movie, Bud and Lou. Yeah. Where <laughs> Abbott and Cust it was supposed to be about the life of Abbott and Costello. Yeah. With Bud Abbott and Harvey Corman. Yeah. And um, uh, it was it was a pretty awful movie. Yeah. And uh, the way they did that bitch was terrible. But it's supposed to be, I guess, uh, Lou Costello likes strawberry malteds. And so at the very end, one of the greatest death scenes of all time, he's lying sick. He's had another heart attack. He's in the hospital bed. And, and his agent, Artie Johnson, you yeah. all know Artie Johnson, who best you, known. You, you know, it's amazing that we, we know these people, and we think everybody else does. <laughs> Arnie Johnson was on laughing. Yes, yeah. Very interesting. Yeah. So he's his agent, like Irv something, a Jew. And um, he says, you know, I snuck you in something to the hospital. You're not supposed to have this. And he, go, and he goes, a strawberry malted. And he goes, because you're a Good boy, cause yeah, yeah, cause he used to say I'm a bad boy. I'm a boy. bad boy. boy. Did I ever do yeah. my impression for you of, yeah. of of Lou Costello seeing a monster? Oh, oh yeah. Ready? <laughs> yes. <clears throat> Jack, Jack. Dude, my face is turning red. <laughs> I don't know what we're talking yes. about. Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. And the, the mummy was the terrible one. Okay, but, anyway. <clears throat> anyway everybody, so, now, what's funny is a lot of people out there might not know who Lou Costello was yeah. at this point, but they know who Frankenstein's monster was. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's like every, every kid knows Frankenstein's monster. Oh, yeah, yeah. And they don't like the new ones they try. They like no, the old, no. you know, that deal. And and so, uh, uh, Buddy Hackett, yeah. as the dying Lou Costello, takes the strawberry malted and takes a sip, and he goes, "You know, I I had a lot of strawberry malted in my day, but this one's the best." <laughs> I think it was my whole time favorite death scene. Really? Yes. <laughs> so here, here, here was one of the greatest days in my yes. life. Okay. Yes. Uh, Pendulette says, "Let's all go have high tea at the uh, Regis Hotel, St. Regis Hotel." Oh yes. So we're sitting there, doing high tea. And uh, the two of you, there's a harp playing. Yeah. And they're serving the little finger cakes. Oh, yes. Remember that? Yes, yes. And you guys start telling one dirty joke after another. <laughs> and I mean, it went on for an hour. It was oh, like, yes. Pim would tell one, you would tell one, he would tell one, you would tell one. <laughs> you have a, an encyclopedic memory for jokes. Oh, yes. Yeah, I remember all of them. And while I hate to make people perform, could I prevail upon you to tell a a joke oh okay a joke and make sure it isn't the one about the aristocrats no, I haven't no. got enough time yeah yeah okay a joke here's a here's a joke I made up myself by the way people who don't know how to tell jokes go want to hear a joke oh here's my worst. joke <laughs> uh, the people who can't tell jokes it's like a joke that could be like told as a one-liner. Yeah. They'll go, and then he comes back the next day and he says, I've got $3. So he goes, I don't take $3. And he goes, but all I have is $3. So he comes back the next day. And, so, and, and it's like when he finally get to the punchline, it's like, well, couldn't you have just said that? That one line? <laughs> <It was> like, <laughs> I think sometimes you can just do the punchline. Oh, yeah. For instance, like. And the same goes for your cat, too. Yeah. 
Okay, okay, I'll do the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, just uh, some off offhand, quick. Something off the top of your head. Come on, you got eight million of them out there. Okay, not, not one of mine, but just a joke. Guy goes into a doctor's office. He says, no one ever speaks to me. Doctor says, next. That was a Henny Young man. <laughs> Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then as, as tweets, all you've been doing with tweets is you'll do a joke. And, and I'll apologize. apologize. Yes. Ever since and the whole life, like, I'll do like, I'll say, you know, uh, why the chicken cross the road to get to the other side? I deeply apologize if I've hurt and offended any chickens. Or a highway. Yes, or <laughs> highways. <laughs> and, uh, well, the best, this... So many funny things have come out of that last plane crash. Well, now, that's something you turned me on to, and I, in fact, have the clip here. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I, I put it on up on, on my Twitter account, at Real Gilbert. At Real Gilbert, <laughs> my Twitter. Yeah. Yeah. This, this was, yeah, so you have it? Yeah, well, that was it. Do we have that uh, little uh, uh, clip? We do. Okay, uh, that, this is the clip you're talking about. news clip. Now, the, news when, you, when you sent this thing out, I saw it and I went, wow. And, yeah. and it was like Friday or something, right? Friday or yeah. Saturday. And I, I immediately downloaded the clip to put it on here. And then by the time it got to today, the whole world has seen yeah, it. Yeah, it was, it was one of those that, like, I watched about 50 times thinking, no, this has to be a comedy show. There's no way in hell. This was, in this fact, is... KTVU in San Francisco. Yeah. I've, I've actually been on that channel. Yes. Uh, and and uh, they were doing the news. It's about Asianic uh, flight, whatever, that uh, the crash in San Francisco. And, and watch this. This is, in fact, see that we have the logo back It's, it's an intern. An intern. Well, no, here's what happened. Yeah. Here's yeah. what I understand okay. happened. They got this information about the flight crew. They called the FAA, or whoever was in charge of all of that, and it was the phone was answered by an intern, and they said, "Are these names? <laughs> this is true. Are these names correct?" And they said, "He said yes. Yes. He didn't know he wasn't in yes. any authority, but they didn't know who they were talking to. So they went on the air. And if you haven't seen it, folks, this is priceless." Corner is still trying to determine the cause of death and whether she was already dead when the truck hit her. We have new information now also on the plane crash. KTV has just learned the names of the four pilots who were on board the flight. They are Captain Sum Ting Wong, <laughs> We Too Low, Ho Li Fook, and Bang Ding Ao. The NTSB has confirmed these are the names of the pilots on board Flight 214 when it crashed. We are working to determine exactly what roles each of them played during the landing on Saturday. <laughs> that, that's like, those are those kind of jokes where you yeah. used to call someone up and go, hey, can you page a Mr. Peppy Roney? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know, a filthy grave, you know. And it, it's like, how... Well, I, I, I love that it's uh, holy folk. But, but, but the, yes. way, the way she's reading it, oh, it's, it's like it's like it, uh, uh, Captain Something Wong. I mean, who, and who didn't stop to think for a moment that this was a like put on? Nobody. Nobody could see now, that. It's now, like, what's even worse, Asiatic Airlines is suing KTVU. Oh. <laughs> And it's like, how can you say those names? By the first name, halfway through, you'd have to go, oh, okay. You yeah, know, yeah, and, yeah. and she's like... <laughs> but I've seen this. I saw this happen somewhere else a while back. And it, are these people in TV just complete morons? What and is it? It's like, if I were on a show and they said, you play a newscast to read these names, I wouldn't be able to get through it without laughing. And, and if they said, play it seriously... And this, she actually took it seriously. They're dumb. Yeah, and like the news is in such a hurry to get out the big story. Yeah, we've got the names and nobody else has them. Yes. Hey, did we just uh, go and uh, uh, find out if those are the real? Yes, uh, the guy at the, uh, uh, you know, the uh, uh, wherever. Oh, yeah. and But I love how she makes it more Chinese with holy fook. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, the only one that's not good, would you have, like, a Sum Ting Wong is great. Yeah. Right? We Too Low. It's right. Wonderful. Terrific. Holy Fook is yeah. just yeah, genius. Yeah, the last one but he was well, losing it already. Bang Ding Ow. Yeah. Just, it's, what would you have? Would you have come up with a better name? Yeah, than that? I don't know. But yeah, Bang Ding Wow was kind of. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was kind of running out of steam. Whoever came up with that. Yeah. But thanks to you, I had, I went out and I got that footage and. Yeah, you can hear it on Real Gilbert. And also, my website is www.gilbertgottfried.com and check appearances because I'm playing someone next week. Do you have a, are you, have, did you look at the page, Albert, by any chance? No, I haven't gone to it. Oh, because if you he did, has it, what are you doing here that's that important on a show like this? He's laughing. Albert, he's Albert. Laughing. And, and he's also, you know, he's changing cameras. Or, oh, oh, you know what you can do? Besides go fuck yourself. No, uh, I right. you know what you can do, Albert. <laughs> can you bring me my backpack over there? Why, you have <clears> something in your backpack? I have a date book in it. You, you do? Yes. Okay. This is your backpack? Yes. Yeah. Right, right okay. There. That's why he that bag bag yes. is why he has early scoliosis. Yeah. <laughs> okay. This is. I still use a date book. Do you really? Yeah. I don't use one of those. Uh, you don't have an iPhone or. I a, don't have. Uh, God, you're such an old man. Yeah, I I'm am. Old, I'm older than you are. Much older yeah. than you are. And yet I feel much younger than you when I'm around. I I know. Okay. Uh, Saturday, yeah. July 20th, yeah. I'll be at McGuire's in Bohemia, New York. I'll bet they, that, sir, I bet they serve beer at happy hour. Oh, uh, yes, I'm sure. McGuire's, it, it, July where? 20th. That's this coming Saturday. Now, do you get a lot of money for a gig like that, or are you just doing that out of the goodness of your heart? I, I give it all to charity. <laughs> uh, at McGuire's, Bohemia, New York, yeah. and then I'll be at... Cape May Convention Hall, Saturday, July 27th. That's a big gig because it's a hall. I'll be at the Improv in D.C. on August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. And I'll be in Buffalo at Helium's on August 8th, 9th, and 10th. And, and, and how, how much time do you do when you're up there? I usually do about two minutes, then people start complaining. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But yeah. But yeah. 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 Turning into Richard Belzer. Yeah. 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 <laughs> sure. Yeah. 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 Sure. Another impression yeah. you do. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So, like, you know, like, yeah. So do you look at the young comics today? Hey, the young comics nowadays with their, with their four letter words. Uh, yeah, it, man. yeah, like you yeah. never use yeah, them. Yeah, no, I, would, <laughs> I wouldn't resort to such. By the yeah. way, how did they, how did they uh, con you into doing that? wife swap thing or that family They said swap. they pay me, basically. Basically, yeah. that was it. I, I, I hate reality TV. I, I miss so much in the old days, yeah. which wasn't that long ago, really. They used to call me up and say, you know, we have you know some sitcom. Yeah. Yeah. We'd like you to play, uh, you know, Mo the TV repairman mm -hmm. on this episode. And those used to be fun. This... Reality TV is so weird. Yeah. Well, it's not really reality TV, is it? Yeah. Well, it, it's kind I mean, of... It, I mean, how much reality was there in that whole situation? Well, it, it's kind of like if you... Uh, like if it's a cave of bats and you go, okay, we're going to do it to show how it really is, so we'll turn the lights on really bright <laughs> on them and then run after them with cameras... And that'll show what they're like. What bats are really like. Yeah. yeah. It's because if you put but, a camera. But didn't they, didn't they do things out of sequence like uh, when you go to meet your wife, they shot that at the same time as you were leaving or something? Oh, they do every, if you watch reality shows. I mean, that's not exactly reality. Yeah. If you watch reality shows, you'll see like uh, someone will say something and another person goes, and it's like that reaction is a separate reaction, which could have been from three weeks ago. Yeah. And it's like it could have been someone going, you know, where did I uh, leave my sock? Uh, yeah, I'm looking. And they put it there right. as a reaction. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. So, so uh, the point oh, I was going to make. And I did, I did uh, uh, Rachel and Guy's Celebrity Cook-Off. Did and you I made, really? I, I fried a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. I told them I could cook. Can you? Yeah, not really. No, I can make scrambled eggs, I guess. But yeah, yeah. So I, I, I fried a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and somehow didn't win. Yeah, yeah. but but on that show, I mean, it was like uh, you know the British are very honest about this. They when they had like the BAFTAs and they're giving away yeah. awards, and they have reality shows yeah. they're giving away awards to. It is reality, uh, documentary or constructed reality. Ah, they call it constructed reality. And and you know what else about reality shows is that what I I always love this. It's like yeah. like uh, whoever it is, they go. Well, you know, it's a nice day. Let's go skydiving. And it's like, does anybody really say that in real life? <laughs> you know, it's like let's let's swim with sharks. And it's like, <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like when they ha would have those dating shows, it was like that. Well, um, on our date, we decided to get shot out of cannons. And it's like, because, you know, the, you can't show them on a date going yeah, but what to the I movies. Love, what I love is when they have a reality show and they've gone so many seasons, they have nothing left to do. Last night, literally, I'm, I'm not kidding, I'm watching yeah. the Kardashians. And the big plot line in it was, Bruce wants to learn how to play ping pong. <laughs> well, you know what? Remember when uh, Anna Nicole Smith yeah. had a reality show? And I thought, no, the, the reality is when she winds up on the news, like on a, when she ODs or fell asleep in the street. That's the reality That's show. reality. That's great reality TV. Yeah. When on, on the reality show... They would set up situations yeah. for her. So that I wasn't interested in at all. It, and then the minute the show went off the air, then it went back to reality where yeah. she was yeah. Uh, yeah, out of her mind. They're going to do a Lindsay Lohan reality show. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, well, that, that, like that woman's be. been living in reality. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Somebody's calling. And Albert said to take the call. Okay. Hel hello. Who is this? This is original Steve, Alex. Yes. How are you? Fine. Uh, first of all, uh, regarding the uh, Bing Crosby thing, it was bucket butt is what he used to call Gary Crosby. Bucket Cros butt? Yeah, what he used to call Gary Crosby. I Cros thought it was bubble butt. Um, it works better as bubble butt. Cause it's brum, 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 brum. Yeah. I just wanted to uh, ask Gilbert yes. if he has any plans to do the new phenomenal Arsenio Hall show. <laughs> that, that's coming on. Because if, if you could find it on YouTube, I'm not sure if it's there. His appearance on the old one was classic. Oh, I did a bunch of appearances on the old one. There was one in particular. It, it was like you two were talking different dialects. <laughs> there was nothing you could say to Arsenio that wouldn't shock him. Yeah, I, I, I would go up there, and I, I would have nothing prepared. And I would go on Arsenio, and they said, do you want to do like a, we want to do a pre-interview. And I'd say no. Mm -hmm. And I'd just go and whatever hit me. And then one time they had that actor, Charles Dutton, who was in prison and he was before me. And he was talking about how he went to prison and what it was like. And then I went out and I started to talk about my time in prison, all my years there. And and then he walked out angrily, and it was that it was so much more fun that way. You but, like making people angry. Oh yes, yes, <laughs> yes. Uh, but I all, all I want to know about the Arsenio show is he gonna start the show by going, woo woo woo? <laughs> probably. Yeah. He's probably going to embarrass us yeah. by trying to be the old show. Oh yeah, that'll be kind of scary. And he's not capable of that. Now. And he'll have on Look, like can the I be big honest with you? shoulders. I, 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 will you explain to me? I could never figure out in the first place why he was a hit. Yeah, well, he was only a hit when I was on. And he was only yeah. a hit for about two years. That show only lasted it about really two years. Really was. It it was one of those like, what are they? What is the actual quote like the? Uh, the brightest flames yeah. burn out. Yeah, yeah. Quick. It was like there are those shows that are like the biggest shows ever. That you do you know who lasted about. less than two years? Thank you, Steve, yeah. by the way. 
uh, 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 Morton Downey Jr. was like two years. Oh, wow. And you think he went on forever. Yeah, because that was everybody was talking about. By the about way, him. do we have that Morton Downey Jr. footage again? I love this. This is just the best. This is, uh, this is, uh, the fat guy is Al Sharpton. Oh, this I, oh, 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 who is that guy? Tonight, we want to deal with the Roy and the facts. Please do it. On this program, your program, you heard me, you have me on tape defending this man. Recently, even after the shenanigans with him and the other soldiers. That's a lot of crap. No, no, brother, you have your chance. That's a lot of crap. Brother, brother, no, 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 Okay, come back, guys. <laughs> so, so that's better than holy fook. I know yeah. that. So, so someone doing to Reverend Al Sharpton what should be done to, <laughs> to Reverend, Reverend Al Sharpton. Sharpton, exactly. I remember that. So that was Roy Innes. Yeah. I, I, I would. This is so psychotic. Recently, and it might have been yesterday, I was yeah. trying to remember that yeah. guy's name. Yeah. Because he used to be on all those shows. He would pop right. up. Right. But boy, that was... I think was... he was president of the Urban League or oh, something yeah. like that. Yeah. But and and you look at Reverend Al Sharp, you don't have to even know about the uh Tawana Brawley thing or anything. You look at him there and you go, so this guy's still around and he's he's respected. His opinion, they bring yeah. him on shows. <laughs> yeah, he has a show. Yeah. He has a show. It's insane. Uh, wait a minute, there's another call here. People want to talk to you. Oh, I don't okay. know why. I usually don't take calls for guests. Oh, well, that one didn't work. Okay, let me see that here. That was Reverend Al Sharpton. Hi, you're on. Who is this? Richard? Hey, how you doing, Alex? Hi, Richard. I got a question for Gilbert. Yeah. Um, I always see him on the Stern Show. I was just wondering, does he still have lawn furniture in his apartment? Uh, no, no. no. Now, I, now I just have dirt on the floor, and I live like a savage. I'll, t I'll tell you a story about him. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't until he got married that this lovely woman kind of organized your life and suddenly realized it, he got, as a p gift, I think, a full-size uh, yes. uh, yes. LCD I TV. I had done a flat show. Screen. I had done a show for, like, uh, Panasonic, and it's like um, uh, one of those Japanese companies that still likes me. But... <laughs> <laughs> Is he also being still paid by Affleck? <laughs> and and they sent me uh, a big giant like flat screen TV, yeah, you know, in the heavy cardboard box, and I and I pushed it you away. You never opened yeah, it. I had it leaning against the wall in the box. And for how long? Oh, it was a couple of years. I think so, because every yeah. time I meet you, I say, "Did you ever open up the yeah, uh, yeah. the LC, nope. the TV screen?" No. no. Yeah. And finally, when she got there, she did. Yes, of course, because she sees something worth money, it, she yeah. immediately opens it. Well, up. I mean, she yeah. suddenly realized that also you had saved every penny you ever made because you were the cheapest person I've ever known. Oh yes. Wait a minute, no, no, no. There's uh, there's another guy who's as cheap as you are, Ron Jeremy. Oh, okay. Yeah, and I what I always wanted to do, and if it ever happens that we can get this confluence going to, of our lives, um, I would like to take you and uh, Ron Jeremy out to dinner, and then just leave you alone and videotape who's going to pick up the check. Yeah, but but, <laughs> it, it, and there you you made, you turned it into a great art too. The, the the problem is, how would you be able to eat looking at Ron Jeremy? <laughs> yeah, that would be uh, yeah, they, that would be yeah, the real trick. You, you got a point there. Reality but, show. But uh, you you actually were very good at never picking up the check. Yes. And you became famous for it. I mean, we knew that if we said, Gilbert, do you want to go out to lunch? That we'd have to pick up the check. Uh, yes. Yes. And so you saved a lot of money in your time. Yeah. So Till she I, suddenly saw you had saved all this money and said, you got to do something with it. Yes, uh, meaning spend, 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 spend. And how did that feel when you first had to oh, spend? Oh, wonderful. <laughs> really? Yes. I mean, did she, was it like pulling teeth out of you? Oh, yes. Wow. Yeah. That's amazing. 
Hey, well, listen, I want to thank you for doing this. You okay. Know, you're, you're our first guest ever. Our only guest ever. Well, I, I know. guarantee it. Uh, I'm, I look like I'm reading a cue card, but I'm not. Anyway, www.gilbertgodfrey. No, www.gilbertgodfrey.com. It's right there. Well, it's, yes. It's, you can just go to Gilbert. You don't have to do the www. Oh, yeah. You'll get to it anyway. Gilbert it's just Godfrey. gilbertgodfrey.com. And dot by the com. way. Is anyone watching this show right now? Yes. They we, are? We have, uh, let's see here. Well, it was up uh, somewhere around 350 people. <laughs> and then throughout the so day. So it's not even worth. No, it wasn't even worth that. coming down here. <laughs> but you see, we also archive this, and people then watch it during the day, and we also turn this into a podcast. So if you so live in Bohemia, New York, I'll be in Maguire, July 20th. People. I'll be on the 27th at Cape May Convention Hall. I'll be in Washington, D.C. on the August 2nd, 3rd, and 4th. I'll, and I'll be in who Buffalo. Are you, who are you doing there? Williams. Uh, uh, Alec Guinness. That was Alec Guinness. Yes. Very good. Yes. Lady. May, may the force be with you. <laughs> <laughs> no, who was that? <laughs> who was that? Oh, it's another one of those Ewoks. Those Ewoks there. Oh, oh it's Jackie Mason. Yes. <laughs> You know, it's, it was a great impression. Yes. But when I have to say, who was that? Yes. <laughs> Maybe it's not as great as I thought. <laughs> Gilbert, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you. Well, you should appreciate it. From, and, and from one person who's been Aflac to another. Oh, yeah. <laughs> only my very best to you. Well, I'll, I'll tell you my favorite tweet I got around that time was somebody tweeted me and said, Affleck fires Gilbert Gottfried after discovering he's a comedian. <laughs> <laughs> that wrapped it up totally. Uh, and and thank you. And we'll, uh, hopefully we'll uh, see you again sometime soon. Yes. Uh, you know. And uh, otherwise, uh, I'm, uh, why don't we finish with the Bulls, huh? Finish with the Bulls. Got again. it. You got it. That was what, uh, we were thinking the same thing. You bet. Okay. Hey, we'll see you again tomorrow. Uh, come to me. You don't have to look at this oh. guy anymore.